Hold up, let me situate myself because I'm on my phone to fall. Yeah, I'm on my phone. Oop. See, that could have been my phone. I really wish I could say that this was an absolute banger of a year, but you and I know, like, both. Shoot, we both know it ain't. Like, it has not been a great year whatsoever, especially if you live on the other side of the world. Well, overall, to be honest, like, even here, it's not great. It's not, like it really isn't. What are we gonna be going back to? Like if we stop doing, like if we stop progressing? Cause like in the end, like everybody's gonna be just, everyone's gonna be captive. Everyone's gonna be captive in their own self-made solitary confinement. It's just, mm, it's, it's so many levels of this, but all in all, I rate this year zero out of five. I would not recommend this at all, at all. But besides the goblin gooches that are against us, Let's just at least talk about how we're gonna be leveling up going into the new year and staying active in everything that we do. That's good. Like, so that we can progress humanity in the best type of way. So first, we're gonna be learning a new language. Specifically, whichever one really calls to you, what's going on around the world, I need to learn several languages. If I already started Duolingo, I have a couple of resources that I'm going to also provide in the description from the ones that I've been learning from or at least kind of getting the hang of some, mostly all of them are free. Some require a little bit of money. It's up to you if you want to actually go into it and you know, do what you want to do to actually learn the languages. But you know, book wise, repetitive learning may or may not be for you, but I would definitely say stick to whatever avenue is best for you to learn a new language. If you have learned a new language, um, let me know a couple tips how you've learned a language besides like you know being ingrained ingratiated ingrained in the culture and actually speaking to someone who's fluent in that language because i'm going to be learning swahili arabic and maybe a third one i'm going to be trying to at least the goal is going to be to at least get in one language primarily arabic because like i don't want anyone to tell me some name really going up in the news and then me just you know go along with it uh but i want to make sure like you know that dude who's like there's a list <laughs> and it was a literally a calendar. You know who I'm talking about? That idiot right there. Uh, and everything was written in Arabic. I'm like, hold on. Somebody was like, this is a calendar. I'm like, okay, let me look at it. And I'm like, they're right. Why did I question them on that, that it was a calendar? Cause I'm like, literally like, it looked like a calendar, but I'm like, let me just make sure because we have to definitely, you know, take information and disseminate it and translate it. Absolutely, otherwise you'll be led like cattle to the, and it's definitely gonna be on the chopping block. Not chopping block. It's gonna be on the list. <laughs> of things that I need to actually learn in order for me to be able to be more leveled up as a human being. Now, not only will I be leveling up my linguistic skills, I have to be <laughs> fixing up more hyperpigmentation. Now, I will definitely say the hyperpigmentation that has been cleared up so far has been wondrous due to kojic acid. I have a review back on my channel somewhere through there. You can look at it. It's somewhere on the channel. Um, UADA, UADA that I had did, um, check it out. The progress has been phenomenal. And I've been using African black soap for like, for years. And this right here has been clearing it up in months. I've got, well, I've also been doubling with the butter that I've made because I like, I know what my skin likes. It likes rich butters, rich oils, and my skin just eats it up, especially in the winter time. I hope you stay moisturized because in these times right here, you need to definitely stay moisturized. You ain't be going out here looking ashy and defeated. Come on now, don't do that. And leveling up my skin game in general. So linguistics, my skin game, and maybe lose about 15 pounds. Now, everything I'm talking about is in the realm of possibility for me. I don't know about you, but for me, this is all very much plausible because I know my strengths and my weaknesses and my biggest weakness, I have to say, is me, is me. <laughs> it's me. I kind of hold myself back from doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing. Like right now I have to muster up the energy to make sure I get things done, be progressive and productive. Call your congressman and congresswoman for you know why. And make sure that I'm staying on my P's and Q's, handling business, and making sure that this is gonna be going good for me because like, oh my gosh, there's a lot of things I gotta do. It's, let me take a deep breath. It's all within my ability to attain. I can do this, you can do this, this is plausible. Plus, I've got my top three notebook. Y'all, I've been using this thing for like the longest. Speaking of which, Erin, you need to hit me up if you can. Um, Because I would like to get a free notebook because I'm running out of space. I've already used up half this notebook. Hold up, let me situate myself because I'm on my phone to fall. Y'all, my phone, Ooh. See, that could've been my phone. Cause like all this right here, used it. And I got half the book going on. See, I've been staying on task. I really got to make my butters today though, because like I, I don't want to be ashy in these months to come. Kind of got off topic, but on to my next point. Of course, the weight loss is something that is attainable, 15 pounds. I've already lost 15 pounds at the beginning of this year before things 
you know, like before we got into the colder months and daylight savings time and again, abolish it, abolish that. Um, I don't want to be having to wake up and then the day gets, you know, shorter or maybe we need to keep it in effect all the time. I think we go back to our original time during daylight savings time because like that's how it was before. And then we added in things so we can get more daylight. I do believe that's how it works. But anyway, I want more daylight. Either we keep it or we leave it. I need more daylight and I need the one that provides more daylight because that's when I get my walks in. Okay, let's keep that going. We're the only ones in the whole world that does that backwards. Anyway, get off topic. But the weight loss will definitely um, be on the priority. Um, I've allocated 30 squats, crunches, and stretches. Those will be the three main avenues that I'm gonna be going through in order for me to achieve these goals, which are plausible. I mean, I, mean, I'm not, I won't say that I'm overweight personally, I'm just, I'm just chunky. I'm just hefty. I'm thick in all the places that need to be thick. Don't, don't assume anything. Okay. Keep it PG-13. But, um, to achieve these goals, those are going to be the things that I'm going to be doing. The stretches, the squats, and the crunches. And of course my hourly walk every day because daylight savings time came and was a, a total pump. You, anyway, it was doing too much. Here we are. The day is getting much more shorter and it's dark around six and I can't do my walk for an hour. So I've been put back a little bit and I've learned to cook and then I've been making a lot of dishes and it's the holiday dishes and new dishes and dishes to wash. And it's just been an overall time and a half and I've been enjoying this food, but um, there's only so much my body can, you know, metabolize and that I don't go over my calorie deficit. Also stay hydrated. Now there's one thing that I want for you to take from me while you're here is to stay hydrated and moisturized. Ooh, that hit. Ooh, that hit. Mm, that hit. Speaking of which, have you gotten your water in? Have you moisturized today? What are your, uh, what are your legs looking like? Are they actually praying or playing in flower? Hmm? Hopefully not. But weight loss, getting limber, and working on my core. I can go to the gym and hit it up, but I, there's like one at the job. But I don't want to be giving my job that time because time is precious and like the world won't let us be like great the world doesn't want us to be great it wants for us to be admired in bs and it doesn't want us to be living our best life i don't like millionaires wait i don't i don't mind millionaires it's billionaires that i don't like that's what it is Ugh. oh and gooch goblins yeah also p.s i hope you had a um a pretty good christmas i kept things very low key because of obvious reasons in the world. So I kept it very low key, very, very low key. Uh, also, um, fourth, going into the new year, I'm increasing my activism. Looking back how I have had my channel before and how I um, originally started, I've made so much progress um, compared to like last time before. Y'all, it's been, <laughs> it's been crazy. It's been wonderful. And to see how much I progressed within this year, there's only more to come. Also, I'll get to that in my fifth point, but it's just been a really fun journey um, all in all on YouTube, despite, you know, uh, and TikTok, despite what's what's been happening in the world, as you all know. But yeah, progress. Now, my other point, leveling up my editing skills. So I've been looking into more uh, better ways for me to edit my videos moving into the future, adding more stuff, whatnot. Um, now my, ed my exit is, is solid. That's not gonna change. But my whole entire editing process, I really have to figure out how I'm gonna be doing that. Maybe I'll get like a, a mic to just come over here and just, you know, be fixed right here. Or I'll just probably continue to hold the lav mic or maybe use this lav mic only for TikToks. Who knows, but I need to get a good road mic if I'm gonna have like a stand mic or something like that, or have it clamped on something. And really, it's gonna be more upgrades coming. It's gonna be more, it's, all, all in all, it's gonna be much more better for the production and much more better for me and better for you. It's gonna be fun. Not for the editing process. Gosh, it's never fun. It always takes like an hour or two, depending on how I edit. But I mean, like, you know, it's, it's, it's part of the process. It's part of the process. Um, you never know. <laughs> it may get easier. Heard it doesn't. But you, you know, you, you don't know. Maybe. And of course, giving you service with a smile. Uh, and maybe informing you, giving you a little bit more views and, you know, just adding my two cents in the commentary to things that must be and to show you what I like. Like this. And shiny things. Like the thing behind me. Yeah, that part. And um, to my last point, uh, for me to stay uh, active in, uh, in, in global affairs and to fight the powers that be so that I can live my life and throw these and throw this A double snakes uh, going into the future. So we can all shake our A double snakes. You know what I mean? Because what better way to do that right there and throw it back, throw it for the future, flip it and reverse it. It's your, <laughs> uh, then to have 
freedoms and to have big bank accounts, but mostly mutual aid. Yeah. Uh, I really, really, really got to step it up when it comes to mutual aid. That's something that I've really been lacking um, so far. Uh, it's not that I personally uh, have been, I, oh my gosh, I've been lazy on that part. I've been lazy because um, there's a lot of things that I have to do when it comes to mutual aid and I know that I can feed a lot of people, but I think I may start like a GoFundMe so that I can um, at least get the tractor so that I can actually till the land and because I already, I already have someone who can help me, you know, um, cultivate the food, know what to plant, when to plant, uh, all that kind of stuff. I just have to actually break up the dirt and make sure the crop dirt just doesn't come over and kill all of my, I can't say that word, uh, destroy all of my vegetation that I'm growing because that kind of is the thing. They usually come over here and uh, you got to head into the house because this stuff can cause, you know, disease. No, I'm going to cause, it's not really disease. It can cause illness internally, externally, all the kind of stuff. And it's not good. It can, it can cause some pretty bad things. A little story, uh, a guy who was doing the field over here about five years ago, I believe his name was Kirby. We're going to call him Kirby if it wasn't Kirby. Kirby um, was doing a bunch of field things and whatnot. And he was taking care of it, managing the field. Actually, it was bought by New Zealand. I'm in America. This field was bought by New Zealand. Anyway, um, he was he worked the, the field for several years. I don't know if he had faulty equipment uh, while working out here. The man um, unfortunately uh, caught, um, you know, cancer um, and he lost his battle with it. Um, and it was just the chemicals that he was using to keep back weeds and pesticides. Please don't use pesticides whenever you're using um, uh, gardening things because it's, it's not going to end good for you. It really ain't. And especially if you're gardening, it also seeps into the soil and it's, it's not good. So if you need to do anything, uh, maybe use uh, vinegar, some water, and some uh, salt and detergent that may kill your grass, man. You, but it will kill the weed itself because weeds are hard to get rid of. But anyway, think about a food uh, forest rather than the garden. So they keep that in mind. Um, but, um, Kirby passed away due to the pesticides that were, he was putting in the field and, um, he just came to that. So yeah, um, don't use pesticides. Don't. And with that being said, I need to make sure that I'm doing my best part on mutual aid so that I can make sure that everyone in my community and literally in my surrounding community, not only on the online space, but also literally uh, within my personal life to make sure that I can feed these bitches because bitches got to eat. And who wanted like, let's eat for free, you know? Let's do that. Let's be, let's really eat. We all need to eat uh, tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, pumpkins, uh, grow an apple tree, a pear tree, something like that. Um, anyway, there is a lot on my plate. There is a lot on my plate and I know that I can accomplish it and I will accomplish it because like I said, this would uh, be the year that I would work my booty off. Um, not 2023, mind you, uh, 2024. Um, but technically, anyway, I'll elaborate that um, in the future. But um, progression is something that I will be always, always advocating um, for everyone to always bring out the best in themselves and to have the strength in order for them to achieve their dreams and to achieve what you need to do in order for you to be happy. But also don't live a solitary life because it's not good for you, babe. It's not good. Um, be in community with other people so that you can actually uh, participate in mutual aid. And the only thing that's going to save us is mutual aid. So yeah, um, it's cool to be an individual, but be strong with others as well. You're strong, but let others build you up because they're strong too. You're stronger together. You know, it's not ants life, uh, but technically I think we're like a bunch of ants in a death spiral and we just keep going in a circle. That's, mm, mm, I hate capitalism, <laughs> I hate it. But um, uh, yeah, nothing wrong with having a job, nothing wrong with having commerce, nothing wrong with, you know, being ambitious. But there comes a point when you just, mm, you know, <laughs> like why are you killing the earth? Because you want money, <laughs> why? <laughs> Please. And being a billionaire doesn't even make you immortal. It don't make you invincible. It don't even clear skin. I mean, like, what are you gonna do with a billion dollars? It's not even enough for you to be able to do anything in the whole entire world. Let's build mansions for people to live in. And then maybe one day we'll evolve and become the X-Men and then be able to go to Mars. Uh, hopefully leave the billionaires here because they don't wanna do anything with us. I'm getting off topic. Anyway, uh, that was my last topic. Um, 
My last point, I mean, about what I want to do and what is going to be happening. Moving forward, I do thank you for coming through. It's, it's, it's a time and a half right now. It's been a time and a half. And I hope to facilitate growth in you as well as myself because it's really important for me to also grow because like when I grow, I can feed these hoes, you know? So um, that's also gender neutral, okay? Anyone can be a hoe, anyone. Remember that. It's okay, all right? We like to be very fluid around here. Allow yourself to be fluid. Don't think rigidly. Don't at all. Because so many people that I want to just throw, like, I don't want to throw stones, but I kind of want to throw a brick <laughs> at some people that I know. <laughs> but anyway, um, I've taken up enough of your time. If you sat through this, I thank you. You were ruined. Um, but anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I'll let you get back to doing what you're doing. Okay? All right, later.